hello friends in our previous videos i have discussed the basic electrostatics and magnetostatics and now i will discuss the electrodynamics and in this video we will discuss the electromotive force faraday law and lange law and the electrodynamics is the study of phenomena which are associated with the charged bodies in motion and varying electric field and magnetic fields and the theory and the formula are correlated by maxwell to explain the electromagnetic which we will discuss in next video so here so first we discuss the electromotive force which is denoted by scripted e and the electric potential can be produced by a battery or an electrochemical cell or by changing the magnetic field and emf is the short form of electromotive force and energy is converted from one form form to another using a generator or a battery and in a generator the mechanical energy is converted into electrical energy or in a battery or in a cell the chemical energy is converted into electrical energy and the induced emf can be defined for a loop according to this integral e equal to line integral of f magnetic dot dl and it is similar to like we have the potential was integral e dot line integral e dot dl and this here it is the source is the magnetic force per unit length it is denoted by small f f magnetic equal to f lorentz force divided by q and dl equal to line element will see how we can find out the emf due to the motion or it is known as the motional emf and this is used in uh, the generation of emf in a generator and in these devices the emf arises due to the motion of conducting wire or a loop in magnetic field and the emf is known as the motional emf and if we consider an experiment where a moving loop this we have a a b c d this is a moving loop and we have a magnetic field this cross is showing that magnetic field is inside this plane or inside uh, on the page so if this loop is moving with some velocity v towards the right then uh, the charges or the in this conductor will uh, face some kind of magnetic field and magnetic force which is known as the lorentz force and the magnetic force we can find out by q b cross b and the, because b and b are perpendicular here b is here and uh, b is inside going uh, uh, magnetic field direction is inside the plane so it will 90 degree angle so it will be qvb sin theta sin 90 is 1 so it will be fq equal to qvb and the magnetic force per unit charge is it is small f magnetic means that is this force magnetic force divided by q and q will be cancelled out it we help we have only b into b there are no other forces then magnetic force so the emf generated is e equal to integral f magnetic dot dl and we calculated f magnetic as b into b and if we put this uh, f magnetic dot dl from uh, this a to b and then it is uh, f magnetic is b into b and dl equal to the this height h and the magnetic flux by the wire loop is equal to phi equal to b into a this area this shaded area and phi equal to b into a is this s into h so it is phi equal to b h s and the rate of change of the magnetic flux is equal to uh, d phi by dt that is b into h ds by dt and ds by dt is the velocity v so it is b h b and it is negative because when it is moving in right direction then s is decreasing so ds by dt is negative 
so it shows minus b h b so negative sign is due to that ds by dt is decreasing or it is negative so comparing the rate of change of the magnetic flux and the induced emf emf we can conclude that e equal to minus d phi by dt and this is the flux rule for motional emf and an electric current is induced by a time varying magnetic field now uh, we will discuss the electric generator which works on the motional emf and it generates electricity by rotating a coil in a magnetic field so if we have a magnetic field and a, a closed loop or closed uh, this type of coil is uh, rotating in the magnetic field we will get some current which is ac current so this is the how uh, ac generator works the wire loop is rotating in this and because it is changing from angle from uh, 0 to 360 so then we will get like the, this kind of first we will get maximum emf then again zero and maximum so it will give us a, a sine wave and this is the alternating current so this is how uh, ac generator work and now we have one example to see how we can find out the motional emf or motional uh, uh, current uh, it, it, here we have a question that if we have a metal bar which is moving on two parallel conducting wires or conducting rails at which is, which are at a distance l and a resistor r is connected across the rails and the uniform magnetic field b is pointing inside the page and it uh, uh, it is uh, magnetic field is into the page and if the bar moves to the right with the speed b it is moving with some speed b so what is the current in the resistor and what is the, well, the direction similarly we have to find out the magnetic force on the bar and direction also and third part is if the bar starts with some velocity speed v not at a time t equal to 0 then what what will be the speed after some time t so first part is we have to find out the how much will be the current in this circuit or the Uh, induced emf so first we have, will have to find out the induced emf then we can find out the current because emf is related with current as e equal to ir or b equal to ir so we know that this loop have some area l into x if x is this distance l is the width so l into x will be the area and the total flux through this area will be b into a that is b into l into x and the induced emf we have seen that e equal to minus d phi by dt but if we take only the magnitude that is uh, d phi by dt if you differentiate that b into l into dx by dt x is changing with time and dx by dt is the velocity v so it is v l v and this is the uh, induced emf or also we know emf is related with the uh, current and resistance e equal to i into r and if we relate i r equal to b l v so we can find out the current in this resistor uh, i equal to b l v by r so this is the magnitude of the current and the direction uh, direction of this current we can find using the uh, this right hand uh, rule Uh, if there is the motion of the conductor in right in this this direction and the magnetic field is to inside this uh, paper then the magnet uh, the current will be going upwards here and if current is going like this then from the resistor it is going downwards or it is in anti clockwise direction so it will be uh, so it is negative similarly the magnetic force we can find out if we have the current i it is related with the uh, current and magnetic field as f equal to i into l into b and put, if we put i from this equation number 5 into uh, in here b l v by r into l into b that is b square l square v by r so this is the magnetic force and the direction we can find out using the uh, left hand rule if magnetic field is uh, inside i is in uh, this uh, upward direction then magnetic force will be towards the left so it will be 
movement is at right uh, right um, direction so and the magnetic force is in left direction so it is the direction is towards the left so f, f is negative of this so we have calculated i and f and now we have to find out what will be the velocity or the speed after some time t uh, because we know that f equal to the newton's second law f equal to m into a and acceleration can be written as dv by dt so dv by dt equal to f by m or minus b square l square b by m on uh, 1 by r is there so now we can uh, rearrange the terms b 1 by b dv is taken left hand side and dt is here minus b square l square by m into r dt this is in on right hand side and now we have to uh, now we integrate it because we have to find out the relation in v so we integrate both sides and the limits were uh, from 0 to t the velocity was changing from b naught to b so we put the limits dv by d b equal to uh, dv by b b naught to v uh, integral equal to minus 0 to t b square l square m r these all are constant dt will be integrated so left hand side will give us and the natural log v or log e uh, v and the limits b naught to v equal to minus b square l square by m into r into t if we put the limit 0 to t and here if we put the limit log b minus log b naught it will give us log b b by b naught so you know that relation log a minus log b equal to log a by b so log b by b naught equal to this so it is at base e so we can write b by b naught equal to e raised to power minus b square l square by m r into t or from here we can find out b equal to b naught e raised to power minus b square l square by m into r into t so this gives us the velocity or the speed after uh, time t so electromagnetic induction is summarized here and electromagnetic induction is the process of generating electric current with a magnetic field and the induced current is greater when the magnet or coil is moving faster or if the coil have more turns or the magnetic field is stronger and if the magnet or coil is moved back and forth repeatedly then it is alternating current is produced and electric generator and electric transformers use electromagnetic induction to generate the electricity now we will understand the faraday law and in 1831 michael faraday reported some series of experiments first experiment was he pulled a wire loop towards right in a magnetic field and he observed a current in this wire loop and the second experiment was now the loop is at rest and he uh, uh, moved the magnet towards left and then also there is a current is flowing in the loop and in third case the loop and the magnetic uh, magnet these both are at rest but he changed the mag uh, magnetic field the strength of the magnetic field and then also he found some current in the loop so from this so from these experiments it was concluded that when the magnet is moving away or towards the circuit then there is a induced current in the circuit and even the circuit or the loop is moving towards or away from the magnet then also there is a current in the loop and if both are at the rest then there is no induced current and faraday explained this uh, this phenomena using the flux so faraday linked the induced current with the changing magnetic flux and the induced emf in a closed loop equals the negative of the time rate of the change of the magnetic flux through the loop and e equal to minus d phi by dt and the induced emf opposes the change that is occurring that is the lange law and if phi b equal to b into a then d phi will be dv dot a plus b dot da so 
the change in flux will be either changing the magnetic field or changing the area or changing the both and in differential form we can uh, find out also this uh, 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 this farad law it was e equal to minus d phi by dt and also we know this e can be related as line integral of e dot dl equal to minus d phi by dt if we have this relation with we have these two equations but uh, now using the stokes theorem we can change the line integral into surface integral so line integral can be changed into surface integral if this left, left hand side e dot dl can be written as del cross e da surface integral it was here line integral but now it can be written as surface integral and the right hand side can be written as d minus d by dt of phi can be written as b dot da this is the surface integral of b dot da and if we take this uh, d by dt will go inside the um, integral it will change to partial differential delta b by delta t dot da so now this uh, del cross e dot da and here delta v by delta t dot da these both are the surface integral we can compare the integrands also because they are similar integrals so here the uh, integrand is del cross e and here it is minus delta v by delta t so this is known as uh, the faraday law in differential form so later uh, it is uh, maxwell used as it as the third uh, maxwell equations which we will discuss in next uh, video and the direction of the current is uh, decided by the lange law and lange law is, so lange law is used to determine the direction of the induced current and the direction of any magnetic induction effect is such as to oppose the cause of the effect and the direction of this current flow is given by fleming's right hand rule and if right uh, the thumb is showing the motion of conductor and this the magnetic field is denoted by this finger then the middle finger will show the induced current or the direction of the induced current so lange law gives the direction for the induced uh, current so our previous video was on the ampere's law and next video will be on maxwell equations and theory of electromagnetic waves so thanks for watching this video and if you are new to this channel then please subscribe and share thank you very much